When I first heard about Broforce, I thought it was going to be a cringe-inducing experience based on the name alone, which is why I put off playing it for almost a month. Thankfully, the game itself is much better than the title implies. Don't get me wrong, the story matched my expectations and is practically devoid of all humor. It basically gave me cancer. Hold on, I can do better. It gave me Brobonic Plague? However, the gameplay more than makes up for it. Because, let's be real, it's not like the developers were aiming for a heart-wrenching cinematic experience. With that said, the basic premise is you control a team of American super soldiers based on popular action movies to essentially conquer the world and spread freedom because America, fuck yeah. But then aliens attack, and then you need to kill Satan himself, because all evil things must die. Like I said, the story is stupid, and the game is aware of how stupid it is, but it fails to capitalize on its awareness with any decent jokes. Instead, it settles for the shittiest of puns, and follows the philosophy of, if we're loud and obnoxious enough, we might squeeze an awkward laugh out of the player. Bruisers. Looks like they're doing the Borderlands thing of introducing everything, but they do it differently because Broforce managed to get a shitty death metal vocalist to help out. Ray. Are you fucking kidding me? That one doesn't even have bro in it! Ugh. It's not all bad though. There's one moment that involves a suicide bomber having his life flash before his eyes that's legitimately funny. It was unexpected and hilarious. Too bad Broforce never does anything remotely similar or funny again. Anyway, the game plays sort of like Contra Cross with Dig Dug. Most characters die in one hit, and you only get one life, at least until you rescue another captive. So there's a decent amount of strategizing necessary to conquer an enemy base or area. You can also go guns blazing if you have a character who's OP, or you can dig underneath them for a surprise attack. One aspect of Broforce that might turn off a lot of players is how your character is randomized. But I actually liked it. Sure, you may get put in an impossible situation every once in a while, but it adds a sense of challenge and spontaneity, which keeps the gameplay fresh and enjoyable. You also unlock new characters by rescuing captives, and for the most part, each character has their own unique style. The Men in Black's character has a supercharged pistol that even knocks the character back a little. MacGyver uses explosives and higher ground to get the drop on the enemy. These little details make each character more than just a cosmetic change and diversifies how the player approaches each mission. However, having one life at the beginning is downright stupid. Some characters are light years better than others, so on the off chance RNG starts you off with someone like Grenade Launcher Guy, it's faster to just take a deep breath and accept your inevitable death and start again with someone new. There's also an arcade mode that I'm positive was only made for this one fucking joke because it's practically identical to the main campaign, minus the whole global traveling, which adds nothing to the experience to begin with. You can also play with friends via couch co-op or online. I played with my brother, for obvious reasons, but experienced multiple frame rate drops when the action became as hectic as a Michael Bay film on steroids, so I can't even imagine how choppy four players can get. That wasn't the only problem I had either. At the beginning of every level, my controller stopped working for a split second, which led to a death more often than not. Some of the low times are also unnaturally long, not to mention really boring. Especially for how this game looks, that's simply unexcusable. To free live games credit, Broforce has a very 80s feel, which is a good thing. The 16-bit style graphics work well with the heavy metal soundtrack and give the overall presentation a little more character. The gameplay is filled with as much action as strategy and is worth a playthrough. However, technical issues and mind-numbingly dull humor stop Broforce from being great. It's score time. Broforce gets a C. It's still a solid game worth playing if you have the chance, but you most likely won't be clamoring for more after finishing the main story once and locking all the characters. Still, not a bad choice though.